So working on a situation where there's two net players versus two baseline players, we want to follow the ball, but we also want to stagger. So if the ball goes to Cody, Max goes up to the orange, and I'm at my orange so that I can protect in case the ball goes over Max's head, I can get it and we can switch. The moment that we change direction and hit it this way, now we both need to follow the ball so we're on our respective spots. Now you guys as the baseline team, you want to try to hit it to the person that's further away from the net. So if Max is at the orange and I'm at my orange, it's better to hit it to me most of the time because I'll have a tougher volley from here. Max will have an easier volley or you could try to hit it over Max's head and cause us to switch. So those are your best options. So we'll start back here, Max. And then based on where I hit, you pick which color to go to. We go orange and now we go yellow. Yellow again, orange. So Max and I are essentially creating a wall here when we're like this, and we're not leaving a big hole in the middle. Right, if I stay way over here when Cody has the ball, he could hit a winner through the middle pretty easily. Oh, yellow, ooh, try Dylan. You might put that up in the air because it got behind you. Now, based on the other team, so if you guys never lob the ball, then Max and I can move our positions closer to the net. We might not do as much up and back, but we might do more left and right. So, say you guys don't know how to hit a lob, right, then our positioning might be, Dylan has the ball, we move this way, because we know you can't lob, and then Cody has the ball, and we move the other way. So, you wanna adjust this positioning based on what the other team is doing. If the other team lobs all the time, then you might move both dots further back and we're moving side to side from a further back position. So balls to our left, we go orange. Balls to our right, we go yellow. Stay. Good. Shift. You. So that was a good example of Dylan going behind me to get the ball that went over my head. Right, there was one where you kind of just stayed on the dot and really had to reach to get it. Yeah. Don't be afraid to leave the dot. Once they hit, go wherever you think you need to go to hit the best shot. Shift. And then the other thing you might play around with, Dylan, is when we're both back, sometimes you might hit the volley short. Max is really good at this. Like you're here, you might just go like that to try to win the point because we might be good at defending from back here even if you hit hard. Here we go. Great cover. So for you guys, if you hit to the same person over and over, you don't have to shift, right? But the moment that you start going left and right, then it becomes more complicated for you as well. So you were perfect position, you just want to move. So a feet a little wider might allow you to move faster versus feet like this. And then you're just going to get that one. So now on that first volley, Max, Cody put me way back here and I was standing really close to Dylan. That's the one you might go for the short angle. Shift. Nice ball, yes. Shift. Nice, Dylan. So if you guys hit the ball shorter to us, then you can both be closer to the net. But if you hit the ball in the back half of the court, then you wanna have that staggered position a little bit more because we can lob. But let's say from here, it would be very hard. I'll take that ball. So let's show this. So both of you guys come to the front, but Cody's near the middle, Max is right there. So if you hit the ball to me right here, it's gonna be very hard for me to get it over your head successfully. So you can both be very close. But let's say you hit the ball back here. 
Now it's much easier for me to hit over your head. So that's when the staggering is important. <laughs> 